side control back position. When I'm in this position, you guys, I like to keep weight on the hips because there's two options that he, how he has to stand up from here. One is gonna be head first, and the, yeah, that way. And the other one is gonna be, if I have a lot of pressure, is butt first, exactly. So I like the head to pop up because I wanna grab the neck. So when I'm here, I'm not sitting heavy on the shoulders here because then that means all my weight's here, butt's gonna be what's gonna come up first. And I don't really wanna mess with that. Not for this setup anyway. So I like to be back on the hips and I'm flanking this leg, this arm down heavy on the leg and I've got my he hips heavy here so I've got a lot of weight. I'm kind of sitting back into his hips here. Okay, so I'm looking to strike from here and I want to get him thinking about anything but striking. And if I see space here, what I really want to do is capture this arm. Sometimes I will even bait people by putting this foot here and they'll grab it. If they do that, sweet. If they don't, that's okay too. I usually can find a way through striking to distract them enough to collapse this arm in. Then I'm here. And this can be a finishing position. You have to be prepared for the person to roll. But a lot of times right here, what people will do when they get desperate is the chin pops up for half a second, right? And I'll actually usually like to come around to a guillotine. So from here, when that chin pops up, I'm swinging my arm underneath here. I prefer not to leave the arm in, although that is a personal choice. If you like arm and guillotines, you can lock under the armpit. I like to go under just the chin, because I think it's a little less that I have to battle against. And from here, I'm going to sit to my left hip. My left foot, you guys, watch this. This is important. This is uh, going to go straight into the hip line right here. So I'm not doing a traditional full guard uh, uh, guillotine here. I'll show you exactly why. Here, I'm blocking his hip. Sorry, I'll loosen up a little bit, June. Uh, I'm blocking the hip here. So that means that if his head did pop out, if I slip off, it happens, right? People are sweaty, right? I can still get up. I'm not stuck underneath him in a guard position. And also, if I feel like I'm losing this, you guys, I can always go for a sweep to get up into this position.